everyone to your chakra reading for the month. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Welcome back all subscribers. Anyone new, welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with your chakras. Best message, please, coming through. And guys, if you are interested in a personal reading, all of the information is in the description area under this video and every video. So, and remember, there's also a playlist too. So if you feel like you're missing a video, you can always hit that playlist. Okay. Best messages coming out. I also put down in the description area my second channel for my meditation channel, which I will be working on for those of you who do watch. Um, I will be getting some new videos up next week. Okay, so let's get in here and see what is going on for you. Best message is coming out. Imagination using that third eye chakra with that throat chakra. A lot of imagination coming through. As soon as you hit that throat chakra and really start really using that for communication, you'll start realizing, right, that my imagination can go crazy. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. And then that opens up that third that third eye chakra, right? Really getting down to details, really opening up that creative imagination for you all, which can really lead to a lot of things. This is where we really want to, you know what? I can imagine myself getting this job. I see myself with this job. I can go back to school. I can do this. And you know, when our imaginations go crazy, a lot of times we start writing things down and we can come up with so many great ideas of what we can do right? And what we can look forward to and really getting those goals set as well. So let's see what else is going on over here, but really using that imagination, allow that creativity to really come through, especially during this Taurus season when we're in this procreation, um, right? Area of our life, allowing Venus to really get in there and help out, um, grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. As we lose things, new doors open. So really wanting to watch that, uh, and that, uh, excuse me, that sacral chakra and that root chakra saying, I can still ground myself and go after new things as new doors are opening. So as one door closes, we always have this new opportunity. So always see that as one of those things in life that when we lose something, we gain something, right? So let's see what's going on over here. We have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. And that really goes with that grief. As we lose things, a lot of times we don't have, right, the control to keep things within our lives, right? We just try to accept what's going on so that we can move forward and do new things. Freedom underneath the grief. As I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. There it is, that imagination. But also understanding, you know what, maybe that job was not good for me. I understand I lost my job, but I'm going to accept it and accept that freedom to be able to go find something that may be better for myself, right? So as we lose things, we can always have, you know, better things coming through, finding that purpose. Um, so Spirit says there is other purposes in life, right? It's not always just one thing. There are many doors, many opportunities. Um, I know what I, I know what I am here to do is what it's saying. So it's saying, I know what I'm here to do, right? If you know that you're in the healthcare profession, you know, but it didn't work out in this one, you know, I can always go to this one, you know, instead, or maybe I want to go back to school so I can, you know, maybe I don't want to help people anymore. Maybe I want to help animals. So I'm going to go to veterinarian school or something. You see what I'm saying? So there's always other doors that are open for us. We don't just always have, you know, when we say we have a purpose, a lot of times it means I am a healer. I am a teacher. See what I'm saying? But you, that means that maybe I can teach children. Maybe I want to not teach children anymore. Maybe I want to teach adults something now, right? So always expanding. Never feel like there's nothing in your life that you can't expand upon. And a lot of us have many, many talents. So we can always change the, the purpose, right? But remember that one purpose, it's always like that one purpose though always kind of comes to the next purpose, right? But we have many talents. So we're not just meant to do maybe just one thing, right? Okay, so let's get in here and see what is going on. So make sure that you are using your imagination when you're getting you know, to the roots of the situations and uh, really pulling that through. You'd be surprised 
which your imagination can pull through when it comes to intuition, right? Because you're really hitting that higher self, understanding things about yourself. Yes, look at that commitment. Talking about the higher self, you got the higher fin falling right out. We're just talking about trusting in the wisdom and the, the higher level of commitment to yourself and actually, you know, understanding and having a better understanding of what's going on around you. So, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. And really knowing that you're moving in areas beyond what it is you think maybe you are good at, right? Sometimes we only put ourselves into one area, but then it's like, if I asked you, right, well, what are your talents? And you say, oh, I don't have any talents. Okay, what is it that you like to do? Well, I like to do this or I'm, and then all of a sudden you'll say, I'm, but I'm really good at that. See, all of a sudden, all these new things start coming out, right? Because you're starting to really open up to who you are, right? So, okay, so here we go with the Wheel of Fortune. Love that. There's that freedom and that destiny and that purpose coming out, saying that we all have divine purposes. We're all here for reasons. Not just a reason, but reasons, right? So you could say, I'm, you know, I had to be here to raise my children. I'm here for my grandchildren, but I'm also a healer. I'm also a speaker. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. So you have many talents. We all do. We all do, right? So this is where you're going to really build that courage and that understanding of what that purposes really are, right? Once you really understand and really get into that higher self, you're going to start understanding, wow. And then all these doors are going to start opening for you right? All these new things. You just have to get it out of that negativity, right? Set in mind. Things that are set like, well, I'm not good unless I'm doing, that's not true. You're not good. What do you mean you're not good if you're only doing this? You have many talents. I mean, look, I can look at a lot of you and tell you right now, you're great grandparents. You're a great wife. You're a great husband. You're a great mom, right? See, and I even know people who are like scared to have kids, Right. But then yet they're so good. You're the best auntie ever. You're going to be a wonderful mom. You know what I mean? But it's, it's a lot of times it's more fear based of I can't find something or I don't know what I'm doing. But then once we kind of do that and we start using that imagination, things start coming through and you start realizing, wow, wishes start coming through, you know, start coming through. You might think that I'm not going to get to this you know, this vacation. No, you start opening up ways of saving money. You start opening up things. You start being more grateful for things. However it is, you'll all of a sudden find that everything is starting to wrap together, right? First, we just have to kind of travel past that negative mode and free ourselves from just one way of thinking. And with that imagination, it's going to open up super, super duper doors uh, for you. How wonderful is that? Spirit says there is no such thing as just one thing, right? We're infinite beings. There's all kinds of things going on um, around you, even if you don't see them, right? But this is going to allow you to see what is hidden, opening up that mind. Okay, so let's grab another chakra card. Wow. What a beautiful message that is. Yeah, look at that visualization start visualizing what it is you truly want right what is it that i really want really getting those chakras in a row remembering who i am remember i am spirit in a human experience and then i start watching my abundance come through through creativity look at that everything's coming through but it's just going to take some communication between you and your higher self right and really understanding as you're really grounding yourself for the situation really getting all these chakras together really figuring out what I am and what I want to do, because I am presence. Yeah. See, all these cards are just pretty much in a row, right? Because then it says I have the clarity, the flexibility, getting to my angel. See how they all just go in a row, finding the peace. So, you know, it's just, and it's just going to keep going to tell you this is how you're going to work these things out. This is how it's going to form around you. Once you find that peace within yourself. Um, and really start accepting, you know what, there's other things. Then you're really going to see things really moving for you, my friends. Because that's what we're meant to do. That's how we're really built, uh, right? If we're built on a, you know, if we were born, uh, built, excuse me, on a negative form, we would really never move. Kind of crazy because we watch children move all the time, right? They're always moving um, and they're always visualizing play. It's a type of visualization. That's why it's really important. I always tell people, make sure your kids are playing. Don't always let them just 
play on video games because they're not being able to use that imagination. Imagination is very important um, as human beings. Okay, so it's kind of crazy. You know, my son and I were talking about this, talking about children. You know, the Neanderthal never really lived in, in the present like we do. They actually were dreamers. They lived more life like in a dream. Their dream center, their, their uh, creativity of the dream life was more real than what reality we have now. They live more in a dream state until they had to get down to business of instincts because they worked more on the root chakra. So they worked more on the throat chakra and more of the root chakra than they did the intuition, right? Their intuition was just more animal instinct based coming from the root chakra that we all have. That's shelter, home, hunting, food, you know, survival. Um, but their life in its own way was all visualization. It was all like a dream state. I thought that was very interesting. We were watching that on the, um, what was that, the History Channel or the Science Channel, one of those channels. My son was telling me all about it. I was watching a little bit of it with him, but, man, he likes to go crazy about that stuff because he's really into anthropology. So I thought, wow, that's really cool, and it really does. That's how they survived. That's how they knew what to do. That's how they learned to build these beautiful things was by visualization and seeing things. And that's, you know, it's like if they can live that long, even though they didn't have the smarts enough to actually live, <laughs> right? They end up dying out. But, uh, but that's just because they didn't have what we have, right? They didn't have that other piece of the mind as strong as we do. Um, rational thinking, that's what it is. They didn't have enough rational thinking uh, to actually survive, survive. But it, it's just pretty much saying that, that you'd be surprised what doors can really open, what you can really build once you really get out of that state, right, of mind. All of a sudden, all this abundance really comes through. So we are the better creature who actually, you know, gets to use both the creative side and the rational sides of our mind. So, man, I'm telling you, and that's going to keep you in the presence over here with that visualization. It's trying to fall. So I just, I love that. I love that a lot. I wonder if that's, I think it's too heavy. Well, anyways, we'll just change the card here. Uh, but this card here is just reminding you, you know what? Make sure that you're keeping all your visualizations in the present. Make sure that you know you live for the present. We don't live for the far future. The mind doesn't really know far, far future, right? Because things, and you know, it just doesn't know. It just doesn't, right? It just doesn't know those far, far future things. And plus you change so much, right? That everything can change as you're going due to free will. So you want to just visualize because remember one day becomes one day becomes one day and you never get there. So you always want to keep everything in the present and you'll realize, boom, I'm in that now. Wow. It just comes like the sun comes up, right? Okay. So it kind of reminds me of the internet. It's there one day, but we don't know where the hell it came from. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.